McDonald's, KFC, Popeyes, Burger King. These are one of the many fast food chains you would go to when it's 12 midnight and your vegan wife is fast asleep and you badly want to try out McDonald's brand new 6-piece dino nuggies. Fast food establishments have always been at the heart of every obese cardiac arrest victim. You like it, your mom likes it, your diabetic grandma likes it, everybody just can't get enough of good old American made heart stoppers. But it wasn't always like this, especially in the Philippines. Back then, there were no fast food chains in the country and that citizens were in dire need of cholesterol and reduced life expectancy. All of that was changed when a shining light shone from the heavens and it revealed to us. And it was Jollibee. But it wasn't Jollibee. Instead, it was an ice cream parlor started by Tony Tan Tony Tan Kaktiong. <laughs> and his family in Quezon City, Cubao. But nobody wanted ice cream because his side items of burgers and hot meals managed to become even more popular than the actual ice cream and later rebranded as Jollibee. You know, this inspiring story gives me hope that someday, somewhere, Burger King will transition to selling onion rings instead of their dry ass burgers. The name Jollibee literally came from a Jolly B. The inspiration for their mascot came from Tony Tan when he thought, Hey, if Disney has a mouse, why couldn't I have a bee? So he added a chef's hat to a red and yellow bee and just like that, Chef's Kiss, a mascot, was born. Oh my god! Oh, I, I, I forgot. Filipinos don't actually know how to make mascots. I mean, take a look at the tropical hut mascot, Jesus Christ. Jollibee sells a wide array of food items such as the Yum Burger, which is a burger combined with the Good Burger secret sauce. That's it. But Filipinos love this so much it became ingrained in the Philippine flag. Oh, oh, you, you, you didn't see it. Right, uh, just shine a blue light on it and there's a Yum Burger right there. Another popular food item that Jollibee sells is the Chicken Joy. It's just fried chicken but when you eat it, all depression and sad emotions instantly gets washed away. This is because the breading in Chicken Joy has actually been laced with cocaine, hence the name. And best of all, the holy grail, the golden ingot of fast food items. The mango peach pie. Legend says that the mango peach pie was made by the Atlanteans to combat the freezing temperatures of the ocean by making pies that are imbued with the holy light that it alone warmed them enough for Atlantis to resurface several centuries later. And every Atlantean to this day are working as Jollibee staff workers. The Jollibee Food Corporation has extended to the far reaches of the Philippines, managing to still have a foothold in the market despite the golden arches arching into the Philippines because Tony saw the potential in Jollibee and just stuck with it. But the miscolored bee didn't stop there. He later moved on to national TV with the launch of Jolly Town the TV show. It's kinda like Barney, but children have been kidnapped into a dystopian future of bad green screen effects, non-Euclidean monsters, and also a catchy theme song. See best friend Jollibee, narito na. Hey kids, come with me. Let's play with Jollibee! Jolly Jolly, Jollibee, Jolly Jolly, Jolly Jolly, Jolly Jolly, Jollibee. The show did well commercially, selling limited edition Jollibee merch like this Jollibee chair that we somehow own. What's wrong, Elvis? You, you wanna sit on the Jollibee chair? Come on, just sit on the Jollibee chair. You know you want it, right? What can you expect? Of course it's gonna have merch. The show ran for six seasons, which still ran longer than Breaking Bad. Ah! Yeah, I don't know why I put that in there. I just, I don't know why I put that in there. I just wanted to shoehorn a Breaking Bad reference. After its conquest on national kids television, it aimed for a demographic older than nine. For the past decade, Jollibee has been making a wide array of inspirational videos, ranging from the downright tragic to the cringiest of plot lines. Bring it to my hometown. It's kind of like Darman videos, but someone other than Darman actually wrote the script. Some of these are actually decently written stories, but they're too far in between. Like their newest series, My Crush is actually a cactus killer. A three-part series about how a cacti lover falls in love with his neighbor who likes to NTR him by panic buying all cacti sold in the Facebook marketplace. Oh, the horror. 
You may ask, how are these supposed to be Jollibee commercials? Well, in this parallel universe, Jollibee has monopolized the word food, and now every citizen has to eat Jollibee for sustenance. Every scene where characters are sad, happy, or hungry, Jollibee is there watching. In fact, people in this universe use the Yumburger sauce for their every lives. You have an injury? Yumburger sauce. Those pills you see right there are actually just Yumburger sauce. Vaccines? Yeah, they're just injected in Yumburger sauce. The meteoric rise of Jollibee is unprecedented, eventually opening branches in other countries such as the USA, Spain, and many more. Which shows that the Philippine pride circumvents border laws. If you get notified of a Jollibee store opening in areas near you, I highly recommend you try eating there. See ya, cheese bags.